Welcome to our unboxing video of the Hayoki DT4282 True Armas Multimeter, a high quality instrument designed for accurate electrical measurements. As you can see, the box proudly displays the model name Hayoki DT4282 and a note indicating it's made in Japan, a testament to its quality craftsmanship. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Here we have the user manual, an essential guide that provides detailed instructions on how to operate the multimeter effectively. Make sure to read the user manual thoroughly before using the device to ensure proper usage and safety. This operation precautions highlight important safety information that you should be aware of when using the multimeter. Always priority is safety. Now let's move on to the main attraction, the Hayoki DT4282 multimeter itself. Here we have the Hayoki DT4282 multimeter and its test leads with sleeves, which ensure added protection during measurements. Let's take a closer look at the multimeter. First, well, examine its display. The large backlit display provides clear readings and allows for easy visibility. This operation precautions. The large backlit display provides clear readings and allows for easy visibility, even in low light environment. Next, we have the rotary switch, which allows us to select different measurement modes. Let's explore each mode in detail. The first mode is the off position, where the multimeter is turned off to conserve battery power. The next mode is for AC voltage measurement, and it also offers the additional function of DPV measurement. The subsequent mode is for DC voltage measurement. Then we have the sun size voltage measurement mode, which also functions as voltage measurement for both AC and DC. Moving on, we have the continue to test mode, which helps identify electrical connections and its alternative function is diode testing. Next is the temperature measurement mode enabling you to measure temperature using appropriate props. Additionally, it serves as a resistance measurement mode. Another mode is dedicated to capacity and measurement, allowing you to assess the capacity of various components. It also functions as conductance measurement mode, providing information about the conductive properties of a material or a component. Moving forward, we have the DC and AC measurement loop, which allows us to measuring both direct current and alternating current values. In addition, there is a mode specifically designed for DC and AC measurement with the conversation of the 40 to 20 MA input signal. Lastly, we have the DC and AC measurement mode allowing you to measure both direct current and alternating current values. Now, let's take a closer look at the buttons on the multimeter. We have the VA peak button, which allows you to measure peak values. The range of the button helps you select the appropriate measurement range or activate the auto ranging function. The hold auto button freezes, display measurement value or activates the auto hold function.
M E M slow body slows you. The slower medium data or activate the slow response mode for stable readings. We also have the max mean and real bottom, which enables you to measure the maximum, minimum or relative values. The killer bottom resets various settings and measurements. The red filter button allows you to capture and display stable readings or activate the low pass filter for noise reduction. The backlit button activates the backlight for enhanced visibility in dark environment. We also have the arrow up and arrow down buttons for menu navigation and the shift button, which allows you to access additional functions or secondary button operations. Before we move on to the back of the device, let's take a moment to explore the measurement terminal located on the front. Here, we have the primary measurement terminal where you will connect the test leads for conducting various measurements. The terminal are color coded for convenience. The back terminal is for common or group connection, while the red terminal is for voltage, resistance and other electrical measurements. Now let's turn the multimeter around and take a look at the back. Here we have the communication port which allows for data transfer and connectivity with external devices. Next we have the test lead holder, a convenient feature for keeping your leads organized. There is also a strip hold for easy carrying and serial number label for identification purposes. Lastly, we have the battery cover, which provides access to the batteries for replacement when needed. And that concludes our unboxing and our review of the Hayuki DT4282 Truarmas Multimeter. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials on how to make the most of this versatile instrument. Thank you for watching.